Kumusta kayo mga kids? Sa linggong ito, ating pag-aaralan, changing improper fraction to mixed numbers and vice versa. Handa ka na bang matuto? Improper fraction are fractions that the numerators are greater than the denominators. Mixed fraction is a number always expressed in a whole number and a fraction. These two types of fractions show two or more things to be divided. In this video, you will observe that improper and mixed fractions are related and can be changed to each other. After going through this lesson, you are expected to change improper fraction to mixed fraction or number and vice versa. Look and observe the example below. Study the illustration about improper fraction and mixed fraction. Each whole is divided into four parts. There are ten shaded parts. It is read ten parts. It is an improper fraction. One whole is four parts and another four parts. And two parts parts are shaded. It is read two and two parts or two and one half. It is a mixed number. From the illustration, it can be said that Ten parts equals two and one half. Here are the steps on how to change improper fraction to mixed number. Step one: divide the numerator by the denominator. And two: express the remainder as a fraction. Example: two parts. Let us change this to mixed number. So, 10 divided by 4 equals 2. So, isulat ang 2 as whole number. Then, 2 times 4 equals 8. Then, isubtract mo ang 8 sa 10. Yan yung remainder. Yan ang ating gagawin numerator. And then, copy the denominator. And the denominator is four. For more examples, thirty-three over three. How many three in thirty-three or thirty-three divided by three? That is eleven. Meron bang remainder? Wala. Kung ganon, ang sagot natin ay whole number na eleven. Another, 54 over 5. How many 5 in 54? Or 54 divided by 5 equals 10. Ilan kaya ang sobra? Meron tayong sobrang 4. Yan ang magiging numerator. Then copy the denominator 5. Here are the steps on how to change mixed number to improper fraction. First, multiply the denominator by whole number. Second, add the numerator. And third, affix or copy the denominator. Sample, 2 and 2 parts. Change natin sa improper fraction. 
Multiply denominator by whole number. So, 4 times 2 equals 8. Plus 2 equals 10. So, 10 is the numerator. Then, copy the denominator 4. Another example. 4 and 1 over 7. Let's multiply 7 times 4 equals 28 plus 1 equals 29 then copy denominator 7 another example 5 and 2 pips 5 times 5 25 plus 2 equals 27 then copy denominator 5 Learning Task 1 Change the following to improper fraction or mixed number. Write your answer in your notebook. Always reduce your answer to the lowest term if possible. For number 1, 13 over 4. Let us change this to mixed number. How many 4 in 13? That is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So, ilan kaya ang remainder? The remainder is 1 and that is the numerator. Then, copy denominator 4. For number 1, the answer is 3 and 1 4. For number 2, 25 over 3. How many 3 in 25? And that is 8. Ilan kaya ang remainder? Yes, the remainder is 1. Then, copy denominator, 3. So, for number 2, the answer is 8 and 1 third. For number 6 to 10, let us answer number 6. 2 and 5, 6, change to improper fraction. So, let's multiply 6 times 2 equals 12 plus 5, that is 17. Then, copy denominator, 6. So, that is the answer in number 6. For number 7, 5 and 3 pips. Let's multiply 5 times 5 equals 25 plus 3 equals 28. Then copy denominator 5. That is the answer for number 7. For learning task 2, fill in with the correct numerator or denominator. Write your answer in your notebook. Sagutan natin ang number 1. 13 over 4. Ilang kayang 4 sa 13? Tatlo. Ilan ang labis? And that is the numerator 1. Then copy denominator 4. So for number 1, the missing numerator is 1. For number 2, 3 and 4 sevenths. Let's change to improper fraction. So, 7 times 3 equals 21 plus 4, that is 25. Copy denominator, 7. So, the missing numerator for number 2 is 25. For number 5, let us answer this. 23 over 2. Change to mixed number. How many 2 in 23? Yes, that is 11. Ilan kaya ang sobra o ang remainder? 
and the remainder is 1. Then, copy denominator 2. So, for number 5, the missing numerator is 1. For learning task 3, give the mixed number of its improper fraction. Write your answer in your notebook. Let us answer number 1. 21 over 7. Change to mixed number. How many 7 in 21? Ilang bang 7 sa 21? Tatlo. Ilan ang labis? Wala. So, means to say, ang sagot natin sa number 1 ay 3. For number 2, 45 over 4. Let us change this to mixed number. How many 4 in 45? 11. Ilan kaya ang remainder? The remainder is 1. Then copy denominator 4. Therefore, number 2, the answer is 11 and 1 fourth. For learning task 3, give the mixed number of its improper fraction. Write your answer in your notebook. For number 7, 83 over 8. Ilang 8 sa 83? Yes, 10. Ilan ba ang remainder? Tatlo. Then, copy denominator, 8. So, for number 1, the answer is 10 and 3 eighths. For number 8, 95 over 8, ilang 8 sa 95? 11. And the remainder is 7. Then, copy denominator, 8. So, for number 8, the answer is 11 and 7 eighths. Alam kong kayang-kaya nyo na ang iba pang mga numbers. Good luck sa inyo. For learning task 4, solve the following. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1, let us answer this. Change 3 and 2 sevenths to improper fraction. Multiply 7 times 3 equals 21 plus 2 equals 23. And that is the numerator. Then copy denominator 7. So that is the answer for number 1. For number 4, how many pips are there in 6 and 3 pips? Let's change this to improper fraction. So, 5 times 6 equals 30 plus 3 equals 33. Then, copy denominator 5. Since ang tinatanong ay how many pips, the answer is 33. Always remember to change improper fraction to mixed number or fraction, divide the numerator by the denominator, express the remainder as fraction, and write the whole number and fraction together. To change mixed fraction to improper fraction, multiply the denominator and the whole number Add the product to the numerator and express the sum as fraction using the original denominator. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood, ating ibahagi ito sa iba nyong classmates. Manatili tayong ligtas. Laging mag-ingat. God bless you all. Bye-bye.